What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Jaro J and this is episode one of our Pokemon channel. So to start we are going to open just a couple boxes I have had stored. Um, these guys were from BJ's and we are going to start with the Lugia box. Oh, turn it this way. And uh, this one is a trainer box. It has the battle deck built in. And it's, uh, it's really pretty cool. So let's do it and let's open it up. Alright. So. We are located on the south shore of the Massachusetts area. And I've been watching YouTubers open the card for a while. Nate, Craig and Nate, and Lee and Hot. And I think it's time. Let's do it and try and let's get started. So this guy is pretty cool. I think these were about like, yeah, maybe 30 bucks or so. They're really cool. They come with this really cool uh, pre-made decks, which have, I think these are EX cards, but I'm uh, not entirely sure. Grabbing here, these aren't like the best for collecting because it, you know, tells you what's in it. But they're great for starting out. And if you just want to start your TCG journey or do some, uh, a lot of the local game stores to break decks and battle decks, so let's see what's inside of this guy. We've got all kinds of goodies. The uh, good old counters. Personally like the old school ones better. There's those. And now, let's see what this little guy is. This looks like just a little pamphlet of the different decks between the Ludia and the Ho. Oh. So that is that. Yeah. Alright, so these are pretty cool. These are not promo cards, which is, uh, I find that always fun. So these are really cool. So this is the Lugia card. The only thing I don't like about the packaging here is that, so they're always like bent. And we got another Lugia EX. And then a random Blissey because I have no idea. That's what they put in here. And that's what we got. Alright, so we got code card number one. So claim that, guys, for the online TCG code. We got the Ludia coin, which I like. I like Ludia a lot, so he's pretty cool. So we got that, get that out of here. All right, here is the deck itself. Comes in a really cool little theme box. Take a quick look at these. Nothing like that. Oh, we got the fancy energy in here. So we got that. I'm um, just a couple tool guys, and I can go in here and go through much because everyone knows what's in these if you are a collector. So, yeah, that's it. And let's open some packs. So these are older, like I said. Um, had these probably for, geez, about a year, trying to get this channel up and running. If I can train myself to look at the camera. All right, we got a bunch of Sun and Moon base sets, some Guardians Rising, a Celestial Storm, and a random XY Face Collide, because eh, why not? So let's, let's start in that. These out of the way. And let's see what we get. So I'm not great at the card trick, so we are probably just going to, uh, for the first video, just go through them like normal. Nothing special. Here's my trash. Nothing special. We are guaranteed, of course, one rare. Might be hollow. I mean, back in the day, hollow was the best thing, and all of a sudden I get back in the game, and now we get secret rares in session. I'm like, what is all this? So we got a bronzer. We got a snubble who is... Looks like he's in trouble because he just broke a huge vase. So that's that. Uh, some Burmies. Burmie comes in a couple different forms. You see there. Cotney. A Ryanu. And a Prism Break. Or just regular Break. I don't know. But it's Prism and it's cool. It's an Amistad. So these were cool and they I think they only had these in like one or two sets, if I'm correct. Um. It's just it's kind of weird that they reoriented it, but that's that one. If we get a Moltres, I love this card. I think this card is really cool. Scorched Earth, a Wormadam, Energy Pouch, and another Cold Card. All right, let me sleeve this guy up. Put a sleeve in here, and whoop, here we go. So we'll put this guy up here in that section above. And yes, I'm going to do the promo cards. I will put those in sleeves too. Let's go on to a Guardians Rising pack. And let's see what we get in this one. Alright, we got a Nose Pass. 
We got a tallow. And a rock fluff. A doomy, which this is a really weird style. I'm not really big on the yarn crochet style of these tards. But some people probably think they're pretty cool. Slowpoke. We got a beware. Frobo Pass, which I have to say it could be up there as one of those ugly Pokemon. This has very wa Wario vibes with the uh, strange giant nose. Energy. Energy Recycler, Max Potion, and a Clefable with Cotard for that. So redeem that if you want it. I'm going to go back into another Guardian's Horizon. And open. And let's see what we got in this one. This is the video is a bit dark. So we did a bell sprout. Cutney. Kavana na na na. Sorry, it's ingrained. Lean hut. Apologize. Patrat. Prathita. A Waylord. Another one of those. So Utiyama is definitely one of my favorite artists. It's really cool. And a Tritonator. Very cool GX card. Really cool. Not the greatest uh, spacing here. A little off on that. A little white on the top, but not too bad. Still, card I don't have, so let's take it. And we'll sleeve this little guy up. And put him up here. Energy. A Drotharita. Energy Recycler. Max Potion and another Code Card. Alright, going into the next pack. Well, let's go to Celestial Storm. And then uh, this one is got some, lots of GX cards, some Atatuno, some Rayquaza, 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 which is really cool. We got Spinarak. Got a Torchic. <sighs> Means business, this guy. Got a Slotath. A Shuppet. Trekko. Metang and a hollow Arados. Not bad at all. Put that guy over here. I still like my hollows. I consider them rare. Even though they're not as rare as they used to be. And this, this artist is just killing it for me. It's very playful. It's like Crayola Crayon kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Hustle Belt. Toad Card. Going up there. So, what are we opening next? We have some more Sun and Moon Base. And these are still pretty popular. Get Sun and Moon Base packs. Um, even with all the new stuff that's been out for the past I don't know, year and a half since this came out to yes. Sand Gast, very strange Pokemon. I don't know if the shovel in his head actually hurts or not. It's a little weird. But, yep. That's that card for ya. Dratini. Diglett. Bounceweet. Starmori. A Heartier. And a Cos... Cosmoim. Energy. Melisada. I have no idea what a Melisada is. My Japanese isn't that great. So let me know in the comments what this is. It looks definitely like a sweet snack of some time. A Pukamutu. A Switch. And a code card for this pack. Alright. Going to the last one of this box. We got a Yundos. Followed by our Tortal. A Litten, one of my favorites. Why not? It's a cat's cute. I like it. A Stuffle. Eevee. A Rotodex. A Dicet Eye. And what energy do I have here? Pokeball. Dartix. Ha. And we got a Totod. Alright, here we go. Next box. We got the Ho O Trainers box. So this is similar. What the heck? Alright, this one's in poor condition. But it's been sitting over here for a while. Alright, here is the ho -Oh box. The same deal. Prepackaged. Three GX cards, or EX cards, I apologize. And a pre made deck. So, again, these are really still pretty cool, I think, for starting out. Especially if you haven't been collecting in a while and you need a. Uh, you know, you need some basic cards to get going instead of doing just. You know, building from straight packs, but that's my personal opinion, so people think they're a waste of money. So these are the two Ho-Ho GXs, identical, same thing. 
And at least the sweet scene is way better than a blissy to me. These are very old vibes of trying to catch these guys in the wild in the Pokemon Game Boy game, which was quite the pain, if you remember. You gotta go find them, and then you kill them, and then you can't catch it, and you have to wait again. Anyway, here is Totod for that box, and I'll just do a quick opening of this. More energy, like anyone in the world needs more energy. They're so bad too. Like you see, you know, if you can see that they have a lot of hollow on the sides. Uh, this one's a Vileplume deck. What else do we got here? What's the whole deck? Yes. And punch up. This deck is actually kind of crap. Melata, I like Melata a lot too. Cobal, Cobalion. Eh, I have to say the Ludia deck is probably a lot better than this one. Alright, don't buy this one. Put that down over there. More junk, as I call it. Filler ingredients. What we got? I think it's the same stuff. And the last one, same thing as before. Two Guardians, a Fates Collide, a Celestial Storm, and two Sun and Moon Base. So, let's change up. Let's go right to the base. This time, it's all about the base, baby. Alright. Oh good lord, another so we got sand gas again. It's just this is a disturbing Pokemon to me, but that's personal opinion. Cool little polywag. Skarmory. Morlow. Four Mantis. So third Sandy Gas. Alright. And gas. Bulldog. Energy. A wishy washy. Oh oops. A low and ratatite. Experience share in the code card for this video. Anyway, moving on. All right, we got Cosmog, a Rowlet, a Young Goose, Torkoal, a Litten. Why does it seem like the same package just opened? Pharaoh, a Stoutlet, Energy, Pokemon Catcher, a Metapod, and Rainbow Energy. They used to have a really cool one with a rocket. Um, Expansion. It used to be a hollow version, which I thought was pretty cool. The rainbowy effect was. I thought it was cool. And let's go card for that. Go into another phase collide. Um, so, again, this is video one. I hope to upload probably at least two times a week for now. Uh, roughly, but you know, I'm trying to run these about 15 minutes, 20 minutes a piece. So, um, we're also going to be mixing in some of my, my old stuff that I've had since I was a kid, getting Pokemon the first time in the 90s, go through some of the stuff I still own, some of the stuff I used to own, and, uh, yeah. So, like and subscribe, help support, we're starting from zero. So here we go. Snivy. Solstice. A Fennekin, which is also got a really cute chicory in it. A Whismur, which looks terrified. My god. A seal, a Rylu, and a nice Altera EX. That is a pretty card. I approve. And I lost my sleeves. Hold on here. We'll edit this out immediately. Alright, here we go. Back in action over here. We got this guy. Ah, I really like Altera. This is, this is one that someday in Pokemon Go I will get. The shiny version, which is really pretty too. Put that up there. We got a fairy garden, a shuckle, and a Cinchio, and we got the next code card. All right, we got three more packs going in to Celestial Storm. So let's do this guy while we're here. And let's see what we get. We got a Shuppet, followed by a Sneasel, a, oops, a Whismur, a Mudkip. Ball toy, Grumpig, and a Metacham for the rare. Energy, I'm gonna get this right so we don't have to look at energy anymore. And a Sableye who is eating gems, which is gross. And a Huntail, Bye bye. Go charge for the online game. Alright, where are we next? Moving on to Guardian Rising. And let's see what we got here. We got a Bell Sprout, a Pan Sham, a Snorrut, which this one's pretty cool. The artwork in this hanging out in the freezer. Chansey, Machop, 
a cast form, which I'm not going to say what some people think this looks like. We're moving on. Let's try to be G here. And a Sylvian GX, which is really, the smell really was just great contrast with the pink and the baby blue here. And it looks pretty nice. Well centered. Nice cut. So, yeah. Let's leave this one out. And stick that in that really horrible section up there, because it is a mess. So, bro, a Gotharita and a Tamola. Alright, last and final pack for today's opening. We have an Alone Vulpix, a Chansey, a Pet Tilly, Pet Till, sorry, a Trubbish, which is just, why is this even a Pokemon? It is named after Trash. I guess we should sympathize with that. A Machop, a Waylord, a nice Hollow Comfrey, put that one in there, and a Loa Molo, a Marani, a Fletchinder, and the last Code card. So, that is today's video. If you like it, like, subscribe. Again, my name is Jara J, and we are stopping with video one. See you later, guys.